Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I just finished up Self Care Sunday and I've been wanting to try some new things and I realized that I had quite a few things sitting in my stash that I hadn't used yet. Um, and I've kind of been trying to work with my curls because since I got my cut, they're like mad tight, y'all. Like tight, tight. <laughs> so I saw this in my stash. It's the Labella lots of curl styling gel with avocado oil and it's supposed to sculpt and define so i ordered this a while back off of target it's only like two dollars and i think i saw linda lynn use this and i thought this would be a really good option just because i'm hoping that it's going to like give me you know at give me extra shine a little bit of extra definition without giving me too much hold. I realized that I was gonna be trying a new product today, so I was like, why not go ahead and film it? So if you've been interested in this Labella Lots of Curl Styling Gel, then just stay tuned. All right, guys, so my hair is already prepped with leave-in. Um, of course, like always with any gel that has this type of consistency, I usually go in with my Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum and my Almond Marshmallow Therapy Leave-In Conditioner. This is my top combo for any type of gel like that. It gives me the best results without extra weigh down. I highly suggest using something like this if you have a similar like finer texture, just because creamier products can tend to weigh my hair down with gels like that. So that's just a little tip for y'all. I do have a video on the entire Almond Marshmallow collection. I will definitely link that in the cards above. So, my hair already has an awesome base and awesome foundation to it, um, which I really needed after Self Care Sunday. If you have not seen that Self Care Sunday, you should go check it out. I will link it for you guys. But this is where my curls are definitely revived after adding in my leave-in products so just some of the claims it says lots of curl styling gel with avocado oil sculpts and defines it's long lasting flexible frizz free styling enhances and defines curls never stiff or sticky alcohol free flake free formula and it's kind of why i wanted to use this because it says it's not stiff it says enhanced natural texture for smooth defined curls minus the frizz made with nourishing avocado oil for strong, touchable style. And the first five ingredients are water, sorbitol, propylene glycol, carbamer, and avocado oil. So the avocado is actually in the first five. It still doesn't have like amazing ingredients, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. And this does not have triethanolamine in it. So if that is something you are looking for, if you care about that, I personally don't, but if you do, then just know it doesn't have that, so. I'm hoping I don't lose my light because I hear thunder. This is what she looks like, giving me those pink Eco Styler vibes, even though this smells nothing like pink Eco Styler. It has like a citrusy scent, but it reminds me of something from my childhood and I can't place it. But I do like the texture, really smooth. Definitely feels lighter. And we're just gonna go in. That was a big streak of lightning. Well, <laughs> all right, so that's what my curls are looking like. This feels really good in the hair. And it's definitely like defining my curls, but not doing like the absolute most. I've had to be kind of careful because a lot of like my favorite gels, just with the way that my curls have just been transformed by this cut, um, make my curls a little too tight. Like they look like finger coils. So I have to be careful because then they get like super duper tight and then I can't like fluff it out. So every time you get a cut, every time you do something new to your hair, 
you kind of have to relearn it um, because your curls are going to act differently. It's just the way of curly hair. Um, but my aunt did say that she was going to cut my hair in a way that would really like enhance the curls because of the varying textures I have in my hair. So really it's like kind of a no curl left behind kind of thing, you know? y'all that's the first section and my 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 does she look good i have high hopes for this definitely okay y'all so that quickly i am losing my light so i'm going to finish my hair off camera if this blows over by the time i'm done then i'll turn around and show you how my hair looks if not then i'll just be back tomorrow with the final results Hey y'all, the sun finally came out for a little bit. I really need to like get a ring light. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair was looking like and talk about my wet results real quick. This is a glycerin free product. So I did find that I got like some drippiness. Um, but that's cool. It's not as like drippy as other products. You can see beyond that. That's about where I am on the bottle. So I'll get quite a few uses out of this. This is a 22 ounce bottle that I got on Target. Um, but I am liking like the definition. I like the shine that it's giving my hair. It's definitely like a, a natural shine. It's not super glossy, but it is really pretty. I do have a couple of places where I have some frizz. Um, not quite as much frizz as I get with some other products, so that's cool. Um, really mainly like in here tends to be my frizz prone area. Um, you guys that watch me consistently know that. So, so far it's looking really cute. Um, and then when I got off camera, I just did a little bit of shaking to my hair just to kind of separate everything a little bit because I think that just like with my cut things sometimes clump a little bit too much like even with the shaking you can see some of these are like hardcore clumping together so I just did that to prevent a little bit of the clumping so I'm going to go about my day do some cooking let my hair air dry and I will come back tomorrow before I go to work and we'll talk about my final results Okay guys, so I'm back and these are my final results. What do you think? Let me turn around. All right, so aside from the fact that I need to go ahead and like and get another pick so I can keep my roots lifted because they keep falling. This is honestly the best wash and go that I've done since I did my unicurl review. I've liked a lot of the things that I have used um but like I said I'm in this weird stage where my curls curl up so so tight and so a lot of the products that I'm used to using tend to actually give me more hold <laughs> than I would like at this point in time so it's I've been trying to find that balance of a little bit of softness, a little bit of hold, and lots of shiny, healthy, bouncy curls. And this gave me that. Now, I do have some places um, where I have some frizz developing. So, this is not the very next day. This is the day after that. Um, I didn't have time to come on camera before I went to work yesterday. So, I wore this out. And I have to say, do I have some frizz that was partially created by the weather and then also partially created by me? Yes. Um, but for what it felt like yesterday, Jesus Christ, my hair looks amazing. <laughs> um, I live in North Carolina and it feels like Florida. Like literally, it has felt like Florida. So 
I am definitely pleased with how this holds up in a, a more humid situation. Um, the leave-ins that I used aren't glycerin-free, but this product is, and I do think that that does help um, with the longevity of this. I didn't use a ton of it either. Like I said, it's in a 22-ounce bottle. Let me go back over the claims, and we'll measure my final thoughts up with those claims. So it says it's long-lasting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think trying to decide whether I'm going to film a new video tomorrow or Wednesday, but regardless, it's going to hold up for as long as I wanted to. I can see myself getting at least five days with this wash and go, just with how it holds and it develops nicely. And even though I do have a tad bit of frizz, it's not the kind of frizz that just ruins a wash and go, you know what I mean? Flexible, frizz-free styling, yeah. The day that I um, took this out, it was definitely frizz-free. It's not frizz-free now, but <laughs> you know, like I said, it happens. Pants and defines curls, yes. I like the way that this kind of, I like the way that it enhanced my curls, but it didn't make them any tighter than what they already are. I think because I tend to use a lot of super moisturizing gels, which is great great for the hair great for you know it's great for longevity and it is also great in the long run and i wouldn't call this gel drying at all i don't find this to be drying at all but because i use gels that have such um strong moisturizing properties i do find that the enhanced definition that i get can be a little too much with this new haircut it can be a bit much um sometimes my coils like they, they will coil up to the point where it looks like someone took like one of those fine tooth combs and did starter locks on my hair so I like that this still looks like my coily hair and not like I'm about to be going on a lock journey <laughs> but this is just Honestly, if anything, this is just proof that I could start locks anytime that I want to and have a pretty successful lock journey. <laughs> um, never stiff or sticky. Totally agree with that. Um, my hair was not sticky in the drying process. And even though it does have a really decent cast on it, like I wouldn't say that this is super duper soft. It has a, a fair amount of a cast to it. Um, I don't find this to be very stiff. I don't find it to be overbearingly crunchy which is exactly what I was looking for with this wash and go and then alcohol free flake free formula um obviously there's no alcohol in it and no flakes whatsoever this is wonderful I really like it um I don't know what it is about inexpensive brands and pink gels but I'm feeling this. I'm really enjoying my hair. I like that I can, you know, kind of manipulate it a little bit more than what I have been the last few times that I've done a wash and go. Um, I'm really pleased with this. Of course, like, you know, I'm still getting used to my hair. I am, especially in the front, y'all, I am not used to having this much definition in the front. Like, you guys know I have naturally defined curls. But I'm used to having like so much way down in the front because my front pieces grow faster. So I'm getting used to that aspect of it as well, having that extra definition and body in the front. But I think she looks cute. So yeah, that is my review for the Labella Lots of Curls Styling Gel with Avocado. Um, It's actually funny because... When I was looking for this, I couldn't find it locally, but I went into Target last night um, to pick up my cleanser, and it was there. So, <laughs> um, definitely check your local Targets to see if they have this, if you're interested in trying it. I think for um, an inexpensive gel, this is great. Just do be aware that it does have um, methyl paraben in here. So, even though it doesn't have tea it does have a paraben in there um guys you like sometimes you do get what you pay for you know what i mean i'm not going to be using this super often so i'm not concerned and that paraben is very low i tend to avoid parabens though just because 
Um, I have noticed that I do have some sensitivities to parabens, more so in my makeup than I do with my hair products. But <laughs> obviously you're doing your hair, it gets wet, it can get on your skin. And sometimes I'll have like a little bit of itching and irritation depending on where those parabens lay in the formulation. So if it tends to be a little bit higher up, then I don't bother with it. That's why like you don't really see like Pantene products on my channel because a lot of their products still contain parabens. Even the gold series, even though you have people that are getting paid to review those talking about some, they don't have any of the bad stuff. They still have parabens in them and do understand that parabens in a way are preferred for a lot of chemists because there's no concern for bacterial growth in those products. Um, there's nothing natural about any type of preservative out there. It is what it is. You just kind of have to pick which one you know works best for you or which one you know you don't have allergies to. Um, so that's why you do tend to see them. It's one of the cheapest and it is one of the most effective. Like if you don't want bacterial growth in a product, parabens are going to knock it out. But it is um, a heavy irritant and there have been, um, there is a lot of debate as to whether they are linked to cancer or not. So know what you're buying. Look at the ingredients. For me personally, I know I'm not going to be using this every day, so I don't care. You know, like it's it's going to be, you know, every now and then for me, just because I tend to use like my main choice, she sent it, and Unicurl on like a regular basis. So this isn't going to be something that I'm using every single day, all the time. It's not going to be in my hair for a long period of time, so I'm not concerned about it. The same way I'm not concerned with the triethanolamine and my Eco Stylers. So do what works for you. I'm just here to bring you the information so you can make the best decision possible for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know, have you tried any of the Labella products? Um, super duper inexpensive. This was $1.99. I haven't seen a product from them that was more than $5. So let me know how you'd be feeling about Labella. I, she's going to yay for me. She's going to be in my collection. Um, I do also have the giant tub of the max hold styling gel so i will probably review that at some point because i've heard a lot of people talking about that i think will on a whim really loves that one so he was my motivation for picking that up so i'm definitely going to be um doing a video on the max hold styling gel but for right now i am really feeling the lots of curls styling gel so thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in with me for today's video you know I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for all the support. Um, of course, if you're new here, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. Come join the fam. I work really hard to produce quality content and give you guys all the information that you need to have a successful hair journey and not spend too much money on shit you don't need. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.